Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm Job. I've got Charlie and Joe here with me. Uh, we are a band called Aya Ish. Now, uh, we're one member down, as you can see. We've normally got our lead singer. Um, it's this pesky thing called COVID. I don't know if you've heard of it, but I think it's absolutely amazing. This event, we can still go ahead as a live stream, even under these difficult circumstances. So where's, where's our renter crowd? Big round of applause for the organizers, please. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> We're going to start with a poem, actually. This was uh, recommended to me by Nick, and it's called Capital of Culture by uh, Dr. Quabena. And he's, uh, he was originally from Trinidad. He was the sixth poet laureate of Birmingham. So just read this out, and you can really enjoy the words while we have some music in the background as well. This is no mirage. Glittering canals engage industry alongside genius, exporting commerce and determination of humans in waves of precious resources settled in pursuit of excellence. Here a river flows directly, connected to many cities. Some bear her name begrudgingly, imitating her in ingenuity, feigning success. And green men guard like the Sphinx's promise of a sustainable future, with learning elders and youth multilingual, proclaiming victories. Open spaces to breathe, alongside basins of promise, near where post-modernist world leaders have quenched their thirst. Minted coins, fashioned precious stones jostle aromas of once exotic, now only tempting. Cuisines galore, carnivals in the shadow of public art, an entire district dedicated to the Balti. Lunar Society of Scientific Inquiry, Aston Hall, where royalty died. Abolitionists, friends and metalsmiths, confer as harvested chocolate is still prepared. Sporting arenas and automobile engines fine-tuned. Female advocacy, trade unionism, justice, equality and liberty. Rupert sacked but never conquered, Soho House resonates charm. Be immersed in her diversity without effort. Celebrate the many who gave in principle to follow forward 52 degrees north. It's a lovely recommendation there, Nick. It was a privilege to read. Little medley now. We'll take you on a virtual holiday from uh, Jamaica to Ireland. <laughs> of Africa. 
and ride. That's your virtual holiday, everyone. I'm going to play uh, some true Irish fashion. We'll give you some jigs now. So I wrote this first jig. It's called uh, Josephine's uh, Jig. And then it will be followed by a traditional jig, the Kesh jig. So here we go. Again, a big round of applause, but I've got to get this right. Irish? Irish. Irish. Yeah. Big round of applause, please, to your audience. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Now, we've got Joe. Joe and Joe. Joe and Joe, so here we go, it. yeah, just to make it more difficult <laughs> as well. And, you know, we can't start this interview without the t shirt. Yeah, man. Uh, well, I had to. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like some. <laughs> <laughs> so, ask, what's your inspiration behind the t shirt? Um, well, I think, like, I think being a Bromi. I think, like, obviously, we live in sorry, we live in a very uh, <laughs> multicultural city and society. And I think, yeah. um, as people not from um, Caribbean or Jamaican yeah. um, ancestry, we owe a lot to a lot of the, the Windrush generation that come over here in terms of culture, in yeah. terms of down to fashion, food, language. And I think coming from Irish, Irish Maltese, Irish English, um, that solidarity between people that have lived under Commonwealth or British imperialism yeah. or uh, uh, yeah, just uh, immigration. Um, the solidarity between that and yeah, I just saw it and I thought, yeah, uh, right on my really street, really man, this is the perfect gig. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I do understand as well that there was these similar, uh, you know, common similarities between the two mm -hmm. communities. The set order, I know that we took your word, Shabin, which used them Shabin, for the parties, yeah, 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 which were very big in Birmingham, Handsworth culture as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's great as well. Brilliant. So I'm going to ask you, Joe, as well, what inspired you to sing the songs you did today? And you said you did a medley there of Jamaican mashup <laughs> Irish. I just, I love those Is that going to take off? Do you think, oh, maybe. It could take off, I hope yeah. it works. I hope it works. Anything work. can happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're great tunes. It's a Harry Belafonte one, Jamaica Farewell. One of my lo lo lovely tunes. Mm. I used to sing that one in uh, nursing homes when I used to play at nursing homes. Right, Get okay. everyone joining in. Yeah. And then Fields of Athenry, actually more recent than people might think. Both folk songs, mm. but Fields of Athenry was written mm. in uh, 1979. Right, so it's okay. a more recent one, but still well loved by the Irish community. Excellent. I think it's a great mishmash. Excellent as well. I was going to say as well, so in regard to Windrush, we've talked today, you've heard us talk to other people, inspiration as well. Did you know much about the Windrush culture? 
growing up or is it an later life you've discovered? No, it's, it's like um, something I might have studied once, Wikipedia searches, right, that okay. sort of thing. Um, I guess if you live in Birmingham, it's a multicultural city, mm -hmm. you'll meet you know, Jamaicans of, of um, all ages as well. Mm -hmm. And as musicians, you get to travel, you get to meet people, you get to play in different mm -hmm. places. Yeah. But you are right, more education is important. I'd mm -hmm. like to be educated as well, I'd yeah. like to learn more. And Joe, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I think just being a lover of like reggae music and stuff, oh, you hear okay. a lot about, and uh, I've heard that with the records and stuff. But um, no, I think more education is needed about it to, to yeah, to reach outside of those communities so people see the benefit. I want to plug your other band now. <laughs> in oh, another band, Lobster. He's in a ska band called Lobster, so <laughs> yeah. really important as well. Oh, to, well uh, we can talk about that. Thank you. Another half hour. Guys, once again, thank you. Thank you to the rest of your band as well for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you.